All right, good morning. This is uh, Craig again from Suntex doing our video series, and today we have a, a special guest, Annette Heath, who's been with us for how many years? 37 this week. 37, wow. And uh, how many children you have, Annette? I have two children and four grandbabies, and they all live in Texas. Wow. So you're taking a lot of trips to Texas. Now. A lot of trips to Texas. A lot of trips yes. to Texas. Yes. Okay, so this is her Texas money. <laughs> <laughs> her traveling money. For sure. <laughs> For sure. Well, it's good to have Annette with us. And today, the reason I wanted uh, to bring Annette in is because I wanted to talk about patches. <laughs> and with embroidered patches, whether they're 75%, 100%, or whatever, that's over 38% of our business every day. Mm -hmm. And so that's the biggest part of Sun Texas business. We've been doing this since 1982. Again, we always offer free setup. Uh, 50 piece minimum. Uh, so Annette's going to take you through some patches, uh, different styles, uh, variations, and tell you a little bit more about it. Well, 37 years ago when I first came to Suntex, we were a year old, and this is all we sold were patches at that time. We wow. didn't sell anything else but patches. So I am a little bit familiar with them, um, although I don't deal as much with them nowadays, but um, they are completely custom, whatever you need, what size. Um, number of colors, things like that. Uh, we can incorporate almost anything into our patches. Here's just a typical um, rectangle. We can do custom shape, uh, the hook and loop. We can do one-sided or two-sided. Um, this patch happens to be 100% embroidered, but of course the most common patch is the twill background patch, up to 75% em embroidered, and that's our list price uh, on our website. When you see that price, that's what you're looking at there. The 100% embroidery would add 25% to the pricing, not that much more to get uh, just a nicer appearance of a patch. We can do plain, simple, cut to shape. Um, we even offer them with a sticky backing for a less permanent type wow. of adhesive. Okay. Well, a question for you, Annette. So if I decide I need to do a patch like this that's completely cut to shape, mm -hmm. what's my setup? to do a, a cutout like this? Uh, no setup. No setup? No setup. Okay, that's a great advantage. So um, Die cut or standard shape is all the same to us. Well, what's, what's this thick border that goes around some of the patches and then some of them look a little thinner? Yeah, this one is just your uh, standard marrowed border on the outside. Most patches, especially in the old days and now I know the retro's coming back, had this thick overlocking border which we call a marrow. Um, for the cut to shape, you can't do the marrowed border for reasons, and so we can do just a top stitch mm -hmm. and have a nice finished edge on a custom shape as well. Okay. Well, you know, I've seen some patches that look like they have kind of like a button loop at the top of the patch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about that? Could we add that? You can add a button loop. Um, a lot of camps and things like that do that so the kids can apply them immediately to their shirt. And that would just, I don't see one up here with that, but it's just a little loop that goes around the top and you can just slide it right on your button. And that is an additional cost, but very minimal. Okay. What, I mean, I see so many different organizations here, but what would you say that maybe the top four organizations are that, that are the end user for a patch? Um, I would say police and fire would fall into a category. Um, hospitals, doctor's offices would be a category. Um, camps things like that. Um, safety is a big category for patches as yeah. well. Yeah, I've seen a lot for trucking companies. Mm -hmm, trucking, asleep. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's just a, a quick overview of, of the patch line. Again, Annette is an expert, you know, with 37 years of experience. And thank you so much for being with us mm -hmm. today, Annette. My pleasure.